I've always been curious about it. I always thought, hey, that looks cool. But it, I also felt discouraged at first because I've always been self-conscious about my body. I always had these um, issues in my head, like, oh, I'm not flexible. Oh, I'm not long-legged. But it was all in my head. Sabi ko, kaya ko kaya yan. Itry ko kaya. Pero at first, nung nakita ko siya, syempre medyo... It- na uh, in parang sa image ko parang hindi siya hindi siya okay alam mo yun parang yun na yung peak of my career nung nag ano ako nabuntis ako eh so parang oh my god kung kailan naman nagresign ako sa work to dance again na preggy ako kasi parang alakas-lakas ko nung biglang tumigil ako so parang na depressed ako at ang dami ko pang pinagdaanan what is it for what is it for me and then what do i learn out of it nothing but when you dance Everything is challenge. Ten years ago, there it was really a different landscape. Um, there was this guy who came up to us and showered us with 20 peso bills. <laughs> and it was like, oh, 20 pesos, not even 1,000. <laughs> so we got the bills back went up to him and said, oh, sorry, this is not that kind of show, uh, but stay so you can see what we do, and he did. Even if you say that the country is very Catholic or very reserved, very traditional, what we gave to the female or to the market is a booster self-confidence. It, uh, it removes their inhibitions. And what's nice about it, they're more confident, they love more them, themselves rather than just working out, not doing, not doing something that is not that productive, in a way. No, sa simbahan, alam mo naman, holiness, doon eh. Uh, ito kasi, ay, di ba karamihan, madre naka, ano. Ito kasi, ano, yung bang, para bang, kung tingnan mo sa Bible, para bang, alam mo, mga manang yun, mga conservative karamihan. Ako man lang ang social eh. <laughs> Parang babata ka ba? Kung sumama ka sa trend ngayon, di ba? High tech na ngayon, di ba? Tsaka inspired ka kasi nakita mo yung katawan mo. Eh, pwede pa pala. Up to 8 years old. Siksik ka pa rin, di ba? So, as a pole dancer, since na nag-exercise ako, wala akong maintenance sa sakit. Wala, no? Ever since. Bakit? Araw-araw mayroon kay exercise. You have to exercise. Ngayon, high tech na to. Eh, pull na to. Hindi na basta-basta to. It's, uh, ano ito? Uh, full body exercise tong pull. Well, I mean, personally, you know, it's 2019 and it, like, the female body should not be a shameful thing and what I'm doing is, it's really, it's really, you know, an athletic thing. And it's nothing, there's nothing sexual in it. But again, Philippines being very conservative, they can't really differentiate between someone who is um, just dancing and someone who is um, doing sex work. So it's um, that perception of it where they, just because it's an exposed body, it's quote-unquote bad. I understand the apprehension about joining pole dance classes because historically, pole dancing has been associated with bar girls and I mean even myself. My only previous knowledge of pole dancing is that which occurs in girly bars. So I think that's still the general understanding of what pole dancing is about. So then that that would explain why women in particular are hesitant about taking it up as a fitness activity or even as a means of self-expression or um, uh, or just an an, an avocation. So yeah, and also the movements of the pole dancers are also very overt because it entails a lot of uh, opening your legs, diba? 
there's that element. I think if you were just, if, you know, sliding and sliding up and down the pole, that would also be construed as already malaswa. But more so when you open your legs, because we grow up being told that our bodies are sacred and that we're not supposed to expose them, particularly our private parts. So when you open your legs, isn't that the most private part of all? That's your vagina, diba? And we are taught that we're supposed to hide it from public, and it's not even supposed to be talked about. It, until now, people cannot even say the word vagina, diba? So there's this, um, what I call the valorization of women's bodies, wherein there are limitations that society imposes on women and how they expose or utilize their bodies. Family ko naman, ever since naman, supportive naman sila. Kahit ano naman yung pinapasok ko, like, yeah, sa dancing, very supportive naman. Wala namang issue na bakit, bakit pole dancing yung pinili mo, bakit ganito, ang dami naman pwedeng gawin. Ang pinaka-issue, ang pinaka-concern lang nila is may yung safety. Kasi kapag nakikita nila super, pag nakikita nilang, ah, oh, paano mo ginagawa? Baka mamaya malaglag ka, ganyan. Or mapilayan ka, something ganyan. So yun lang yung concern nila, yung safety ko. But other than that, wala naman silang questions about pole dancing ko. It was 12 years ago. Um, the teacher was a dancer, so I don't think he really understood that. He was very strong. So he could do everything. So I guess he just assumed we could all do it the same way that he did. So the preparation was not enough. So I had, I sprained my wrist, hurt my knee, hurt my ankle, hurt my back. So yeah, I'm still alive though. <laughs> I still, lo I love pole dancing so much. I was like, I think this needs to be studied. So me and my friend Myla, we went to Hong Kong to get certified. So I was like, hey, this is good because uh, if you're using the body, I think you need to understand how the body works. And then we also had to be first aid certified before we flew there. So, so same here in Polcats, all our teachers are first aid certified. It's a requirement. I always take care of my students. I always take care. Wala pang na-injured sa akin. Kahit injured ako, ganyan, I try my best. Tapos, anong nangyari nun? Um, parang naglagay lang ako ng may pinapahedge sa akin ng mental para hindi ko masyado ma-feel yung pain but it was too painful kung wala talaga so one of the judges was AJ Bautista one of the first male pole dancers kaya lang nasa US na siya ngayon and then pole cats din siya parang siya yung nagrepresent ng pole cats Ed Aniel was there yata Shara Soto also judged that event. And then Nancy from Hot Legs also judged the event. So I think it was a very essential na magkaroon ng mga performers as a judge kasi parang they're not only looking at the tricks alone. They have to see the whole performance, how you perform it, how you deliver the concept. So it I think it helped a lot. Kasi yung mga tricks ko, it may be not that amazing, pero siguro na tinignan nila yung technicality, yung, yung fluidity, or kung gano'ng kalinis yung isang amazing nga, pero baka hindi malinis, hindi nakapoint, yung uh, gano'n. Tapos yun, when I won my first pole dance competition, syempre overwhelming na, wow, kaka-start ko pa lang. I think it was the start of it all na I started to have a name in the pole industry na parang dun ko nahanap yung sarili ko as Cristel de Catalina. Yeah. Ayaw mo ma-injure. Yes. No, and then you want to perfect it. You yes. want to do it well, yes. di ba? So, Asan yung male gaze doon? I think that's what also people need to understand. Because there might also be that um, misconception that women who do pole dancing do it to attract yes. male attention. So I think that has to be clarified. That women who engage in pole dancing do it above all just for themselves. Diba? I think and it's the pole dancers themselves who have to disabuse third persons of this belief that it has a necessary connection. 
that's also perhaps one of the reasons why it's looked down upon. Kasi parang kaartehan mo yan, di ba? Parang pampakikay. Eh kasi but when you think about it, where? Only, when, when, when do other people watch you except in performances? That lasts, or, or just you. Except siguro when you post on social media. But you ask yourselves, when you post, who's that for? Is that for the male gaze? Ang nangyari kasi at that time, I couldn't afford anymore. So, kung tapos na yung classes ko ng Groupon, di ba? So, parang, as a single mom, parang, or siguro, kaya ko naman din mag-tape kung pipilitin ko. Pero parang, as a single mom, you'd rather spend it for the more important things. Like, di ba, diaper, milk, and then, yung ganun. So, to enroll, again, is parang, baka heavy na, ganun. For me, it's really hard. And, you really have to practice. You can't just, you can't just try it. Like take a classes, okay, ka no. Like me, he, I, it's something that I have to keep practicing because if you stop practicing, you start from zero. That's how I felt after I gave birth. I had second thoughts on going back because I know my strength was different. Na eh. I just, I had to show up. Step one, you have to show up. And then my friends tried to encourage me, and that's when slowly bumabalik na yung strength mo. And then last year, breast cancer struck. So that was an, such a big blow to my body acceptance again because then suddenly I couldn't do the things that I used to do. I couldn't do pull-ups. I couldn't climb again. I couldn't pull. So that was tough. And then because they had to induce menopause as part of the treatment, I started putting on weight also. So that was tough. So now it's an ongoing journey again but a different kind i think it's a bit deeper now so there's so much internal work going on every day <laughs> yeah but um i like when i'm dancing because when i'm dancing then there's no time to feel bad about yourself because you're busy dancing and i guess also endorphins <laughs> they help it's nice to see that my body can still do things in spite of the cancer. So, so that's a good thing. Uh, actually, meron, no? yung parang sinasabi nila na parang paulit-ulit yung tinuturo ko. But like any other dance, like in ballet, since day one, when you enter your class, magte-turn out ka, magtuton, magpo-point your toes ka. That's every day. That's how you develop strength. You know, hindi naman siya from ganyan, i-speed ka na kaagad eh. You know? So, every day, it's parang binibuild mo yung um, strength mo. Yun. So, parang inanundi din nila ako dyan. May, meron. Talagang, talagang meron. Actually, meron. Tapos, nga, parang paulit-ulit na daw. But, it's true. Because, ganun naman talaga eh. Like, whatever your parang basic, ulit-ulitin mo siya until, ma, ma, you know, hanggang lumakas ng lumakas ka, hanggang sa dumali ka ng dumali. Di ba? Second is yung ano, yung age ko. Doon na hurt ako doon. Na hurt ako doon sa age na yun. <laughs> Kasi syempre at some point of your life, merong mafi-feel mo talaga na parang tumanda ka na, 'di ba? Tatanda ka na. At that time nung when I heard that ano, yung pangbubuli sa akin. Yeah. So, na hurt ako kasi weakest point to yon. A woman is empowered if she's able to dare go outside the box that society forces her to fit into from the moment she is born. Diba? Women, first, if you're a girl, you're supposed to be like this, like this, diba? You're supposed to be nurturing, caring, passive, patient, loving, diba? And then, it's all this gender norms, ro even roles, diba? stereotypes, not just about, not just for women, but also men, no? but, but because we're talking about women. And, and we're forced to conform from the moment we're born. Diba? That's how we're conditioned, that's how we're socialized by society in all societal institutions, not just the family, but also in schools, communities, and then when they're working na in the workplace, in media, in our laws. Diba? So I think empowerment is finally learning to understand that no one has a right to place you in that box. If it's preventing you from self-actualizing or self-realizing, or, or 
fulfilling your potential or um, choosing paths that will re that will lead you to achieving what you want to achieve you by your creative ano, potential or whatever so I think that's empowering it's really taking control it's being able to decide and being able to act based on your decisions without caring it's really taking charge of your life and your body it's having full self-determination over yourself and your life that's that's empowering for me ngayon alam ba ang nakita ko sa pole dance uh, kailangan may guts ka guts saka confident ka sabi ko kaya ko yan ah Bilib din ay amazed. Naaamis din ako sa sarili ko. Bakit nagagawa ko? Dahil nasa tao lang yan eh. Kung gusto mo, pwede. If there is a will, there is a way. Kaya lang ang unang, ang, ang unang iniisip ng mga babae, mga sample, mga 50 o ano, ay hindi ko na kaya yan. Maraming mga professional students, like let's say doctors, teachers, like mga professional talaga na work nila, na nagpo-pole dancing like halos every night nasa studio why because yun yung nagiging ano nila eh nagiging way out of stress sometimes eh parang doon na rin sila naglalabas ng ng parang doon nila nahanap na meron pa silang ibang bagay na pwedeng gawin instead of pagiging doctor ganun or instead of pag like sa office lang so after their work nagpupunta sila ng studio nahanap nit mag nagkakaroon sila ng ibang friends diba nagkakaroon sila ng ibang Gawa, gagawin. Like, so, ang laking tulong. Laking tulong ng pole dancing. I think the best thing that you can do for yourself is to just take the class. Because it's because um, if you wait until you're ready, there's never gonna be a right time. So, um, if you want to be more flexible, if you want to be stronger, the best way to do that is by um, actually practicing. Mm, as again, there's no body type. Some people are heavy set, but are very light or can carry their own body weight or more graceful or more flexible. Some people are very, very thin, as in thin as a stick. Pero walang grace, or I may say, hindi niya kayang i-lift yung sarili niya. So, there's no such thing as like, this is the perfect body type, your endomorph, your mesomorph, your ectomorph. It, it, there's no such thing. You develop your own body weight, and eventually, you learn to be stronger. Pole dancing is uh, it's freedom. It's when I feel the most free. It's when I dance because it's um, you're there. You're putting yourself out there, right? With how you dance, with who you are, because who you are is essentially is essentially gonna come out in how you dance. Ko yung pole dancing, parang dun ko nahanap yung sarili ko. Parang totoo as in nagkaroon ako ng uh, parang yung worth ko. Parang alam mo yon from being down kasi single mom ako parang mas tumaas yung ano ko sa sarili I can do these things pala ganyan so, tapos na syempre nakakatuwa din na uh, people would know you ganyan pero I never stop from there na I still train regularly I never stop training ganon wala pang plan but I'm always inspired makarinig lang ako ng music inspired na ako Makakita ako ng tao, ang galing nito, nai-inspired na ako. Makakita ako ng something, ng concept, nai-inspired na ako. So, nabubuo siya ng nabubuo. Until I think the right time. I don't know, sana abutan, sana abutan ko pa. I think the right, the right time. No? I, I still have something to share. And as a teacher, you're supposed to share something. Knowledge, your experience, you know. So, naghahanap ako ng right, ng right, right time siguro, or, I don't know, right people, or, I don't know, 
but I, I know deep inside myself, and dami kong isi-share. Yeah. I'm Christina D. I'm 43. I'm the founder and creative director of Polkats Manila. Uh, it's Polkats' 10th year this year, but I've been doing pole dancing for 12 years. I'm ancient. <laughs> My name is Lala Ilo Dinglasan. I'm already 43 years old. A certified pole dance teacher. So I'm um, an owner also of Movement Dance Studio here in Ortigas. And we have another branch in Makati. I'm Shara Soto and I'm a pole fitness teacher here in Movement Dance Studio and the Upper Deck also, Flow Studio of the Upper Deck. Um, apart from that, I'm an actress, a singer, and a dancer, a theater actress, and TV actress, and movie actress sometimes. <laughs> and a mother. I'm Rosita Custoya Gomez. They call me Menchi. Uh, at present, I'm 72 years old. I'm a resident pastor dito sa Quezon City. Hi, uh, my name is Johnny Villanueva, uh, also known as Tristan Tivo. Yun yung pinaka screen name ko. And yeah, I'm a pole dancer or a pole artist. Um, right now, I'm performing in one of their uh, casinos here in Metro Manila. Ariel Baisa, I'm 28 years old and I work as a hair and makeup artist. And I've been pole dancing for four or five years. My name is Christelle de Catalina. Um, I'm turning 34 years old. I'm an aerialist and a pole athlete. Um, I've been pole dancing for about five years and I've been doing this job uh, for, for a long time and I think I'll be doing this uh, for the rest of my life. <laughs> my name is Ed Daniel. I am 50 years old. At the moment, I am the resort manager of the Fox and the Firefly Cottages and Sub2 Philippines. I'm Mona Adviento Maghanoy. I'm teaching at the College of Human Kinetics. My specialization is in sports psychology. I'm a psychological skills coach. And I help athletes for competition. I'm Nathalie Africa Verseles. I'm currently the director of the University of the Philippines Center for Women's and Gender Studies. And I'm also currently the, a member of the faculty of the Department of Women and Development Studies. My area of specialization is really the very broad discipline of gender and development, but my particular area of interest is gender and the economy. But I also dance.